What's going on, y'all? You're to the Brick Squad. If you're not a member of the Brick Squad, if you haven't subscribed, I want you to subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button. But anyway, it's our first official day at the at the gym downtown. I'm excited. Well, our first official workout. We worked out there the first day, but we kind of just did some body weight circuits. You know, we didn't have a lot of time. Our schedule was tight. So um, we, uh, we, uh, we wasted a lot of time going around the gym showing you guys. Anyway, um, a lot of people have been asking me about a full day of eating video. And I want to do one, but I don't want to do one right now because we're in a strength phase. We ha actually have three more weeks in our strength phase. And I'm eating at maintenance and sometimes more than maintenance. So I'm eating a lot. And the stuff that I'm eating, I wouldn't want to show you guys that. I know a lot of people that watch this are trying to lose body fat. I'm not trying to lose fat right now. I'm just trying to gain strength and maintain muscle. So I'm going to be cutting soon. We got about three weeks left of the strength. I think about three weeks. Um, and then I'm, I'm going on a cut. I'm doing a crazy cut. I'll, I'll show you guys specifically what I eat, what type of workouts I do. And uh, I'll probably do some type of challenge, some type of fat loss challenge for my summer cut. I'm excited. I can't wait. So I picked up Kimmy. So now we're on our way to the gym. Finally. Low, low beats. Hi. Hi. So it's super important when you're doing chest press or any exercise for that matter, the first set, you want it to be a warm-up set. You may even want to do two warm-up sets. I usually do one warm-up set, well, for the instance of the chest press, I use the bar, I do about 20 reps, then I put one plate on, I do about 20 reps, and then I kind of work my way up to my working weights. I don't just jump in the gym and throw 315 on the ball. You don't want to do that. I said you're so fucked for injury. Oh my god, you hear the sound right here? Look. Yo, I just wanted to share something. All right, I just did a warm-up set at 225, and I remember not too long ago, I know you, you guys remember, I always tell you like, yo, I'm not as strong as I should be. 225 used to be heavy to me. Like, I used to feel good when I did 225, and now I'm like warming up with 225. That's, yeah, I don't understand how, look, I'm getting goosebumps. Gain strength to feel like you're getting better. better. That's where happiness comes from, progression in any area of your life. And I'm not gonna start preaching. So today's workout, can you see this? Chest and back. So I'm starting off with my bench press, five by five at 225, which is 65% of my one rep max. And I gotta do one set at 255, which is 80% of my max. I'm supposed to be doing five sets of 225, but that was a little bit light for me. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna add 50 pounds, and I'm gonna do five sets of five at that. Here's the thing, if you're lifting the weight, and you know it's too easy for you, don't cheat yourself by not going up in weight. As long as you don't have to compromise your form, as long as you can control the weight, make sure you're challenging yourself on every single set. Because if you're not challenging yourself, you're wasting your time.
we just wrapped up our first workout here. Feels good, man. The energy is amazing. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Still got a lot of work to do, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. I'm excited about getting to these 1RMs. Again, retesting my 1RMs and getting to this summer cut. Like when I tell y'all, I'm trying to be stage ready all summer. And I want y'all to do this cut with me. I'm gonna probably put together a program so we all can follow it. But stay tuned for that. The summertime shred program. All right, so I'm on my way to pick up my kids. And something just came over me. I just wanted to speak to you guys about. I'm specifically talking to the people who need to lose 50, 75, 100, 100 plus pounds, right? Let me explain something to you. It's going to take a level of commitment that you have never given to anything else in your life in order to transform your body, first and foremost. And the key word here is obsession. When I tell you I was obsessed, I was obsessed. I literally ate, drink, slept, breathe, fitness and nutrition and it takes that level of commitment that level of obsession in order to do something as profound as transform your body you can't allow excuses you can't allow any kind of roadblocks to stop you because when you're obsessed nothing is gonna stop you not failure not your car breaking down not not having money not having support of your your family not nothing is going to stop you when you're obsessed so understand that if you want to transform your body you want to make a significant change to your body you have a lot of weight to lose you are going to have to find the obsession inside your heart to make it happen all right i'm gonna step off the soapbox one of my favorite moments of my day always Daddy. I gotta pee so bad, y'all. So, your lips are so chapped, bro. It was chapped all day. Hey. Well, I like your boots. Thanks! Hey. Hey. Here, Daddy. So, this is RJ's last rec league game. Oh, Thank no, it's not against the um, Bulls. Hey, this is last rec league game. Thank God, because. I think that the, this rec league has given him some bad habits and it's time for him to step up into the AA world for good. Uh, he's he's far better than... Daddy, huh? guess what? What? We're not playing that, the Bulls. It's all good. But we're still playing a good, the third best. You ready to say bye-bye to the rec league? Yes. All right, what are your say, predictions for today? That I'm going to score 20 points. 20 points is your goal? Yeah. 18 points, I mean. 18. Alright, 18 points. We'll see if he does it.